Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just finishing up the Ultimate Duo Tournament. Um, surprise, Rambo surprise. and Big T coming out victorious, 73%. They go to the final. I did not see that coming. Really? Yeah. Oh, I definitely did. I oh, they've been fan favorites. Ray, time. Ray and Big T, they got some big, big fans out there. Yeah, but Karma Krim combo. Slight work for Rambo. New time. versus the old. New versus the old. Dude. Without so many more highlight real plays without coming Ram timer, from Karma and Krim. Without Ram Timer, none of none this, of this possible. could have been possible. Let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, they wait to play the winner of Nature and Scump versus, versus Aches and, and TP. Whoa. So potentially we have, uh, if I look at that, I can assume Nature and Scump will win that semifinal. Nate and Scump versus Big T and Ray. Can you do a battle for Ooh. third? No, we don't See, want to do I want to be the TP Aches Krim and Karma. Who wins that fight? You don't even care. I think I think Krim and Karma probably win that one. To be honest, ends like third place for losers. Third the worst, man. They didn't care. Yeah, third. Nope. Care about first and second, but yeah. we brought Christopher Puckett. Christopher Puckett, has breaking news. Yeah, I, I demanded Came. this get written into the script Scurrying in. before this story unfolded, and it didn't get put in the script, and then the story unfolded. So. For those of you guys out there who haven't been paying attention, Team Revenge, eh, one of the happens? best teams in Call of Duty. They proved it back at Second God Champs. Teams. What happened to them? Uh, they went on a ridiculous run through the winner's bracket, finished yeah. in second only to Denial. Some of the best matches in AW history happened in those matchups against Denial. But since then, we saw a failed attempt to get into Pro League. They yep. tried to buy a spot. No one wanted to buy a spot for a re or sell their spot for a reasonable amount of money. So TR didn't get into the Pro League. That means their chance of going to X Games as a squad, impossible. Um, yeah. We we thought maybe there was going to be a situation where all these trades would go down and eventually the team would never get formed I mean, somewhere. It, never, to be fair, never it, it looked that way, though, because you had two teams with basically pass of TR. And you kind of said that, you're like, this is logical. Someone's going to trade for TR. Like, this makes sense. But it never happened. It's too difficult. And it's this too weekend, we saw uh, Aqua playing with the Prophecy squad. Yeah. Prof uh, says they want to pick up Aqua for Moach. Hasn't been official by the league yet. But that's Sensible something they're trade. trying to do. Yes. Uh, Facento played with Elevate. At least during the 5K. I don't know. Did he play with him during the 2K? Honestly, no idea. No idea. Yeah, uh, UMG well. doesn't really post the rosters. No. Uh, Nagafen got traded to Denial as a sub last week. I can't see anything happening there. And yeah. then Remy, I, I believe. Kind of bench warming. Remy is a sub for AR. AR, I think. I yeah. believe. Yeah. So that's where all those players are at in the league. Well, today. If you have Remy as a sub, like, yeah, you're Remy, doing it wrong. Remy is absolutely nasty. Uh, Aqua, I think, had the flashiest plays that anyone saw. Facetto had some ridiculous sniper aces and whatnot, but I think Aqua had the most consistent kind of flashy plays Agreed. throughout Call of Duty Championship. And I actually watched the whole Team Revenge, the movie or whatever they called it. It was like 38 you minutes the of whole them thing? dominating. It was pretty incredible. Uh, <laughs> so many highlight plays, so many top 10 material plays in that. But I was surprised when I read this. I thought it might happen. I knew Aqua was probably the first guy after COD Champs. I was like, this is the guy you go out and you pick up right now. You replace any of your top slayers with this guy because not only does he have the gun skill, uh, he's also always in the right position, it seems, in CTF. Intelligent. And his SD plays, we saw so many super intelligent plays, like when he's at uh, a bomb site in Biolab and just waiting with three people all around him before he starts to shoot his gun. Well, Aqua, it looks like he's being used by Prophecy, but Remy made it official in his twit longer that he doesn't see himself playing with Team Revenge moving forward. Now, Remy is kind of the glue to this team. He's the one who is constantly in people's faces, um, forcing those gunfights and allowing his teammates to kind of get in position. He says, I'm available for UMG Cali and onward. Revenge is basically split up, but being on this team showed me that anything is possible. Never thought I would take gaming to this level, and it is literally amazing what us four accomplished as, team, as a team on Revenge. Hope every player on Revenge finds their team and this wasn't for nothing. The faces behind Revenge Pittsburgh, Jay Watt, I have become best friends with. I have been with them six months and they are by far the best organization, owner and manager I have been with. Would love to be a part of a team with them again any day and big thanks to Digital Assault for helping Revenge and us players achieve what we have done. Thanks for reading and we going to go all out in Europe for you guys and gals these next two weekends with the old Revenge team. So they're announcing it 
before ESWC and before Gfinity. You, you saw this coming. I saw Aqua getting poached as soon as Cod Champs was at the end of Saturday. What? I was like, he's going somewhere else. If I was, this is just me personally, if I was Aqua or Sento or any of these guys on TR, right after Champs, I would have went to the org or whomever and been like, look, you have a week to get me into the league. If not, this isn't going to work. I, that's exactly how I would have played it. I felt like you needed to make... Make moves yourself. It, right. Like, you knew it wasn't going to... If you weren't going to get into the league, you weren't going to get to X Games, you weren't going to move on past that. It was just a matter of time before teams started to flounder and then go after your players because you're the next best players not in the league. Right. You might as well have just came to an agreement there with your teammates and be like, look, we all want to play in the league. I understand that. This is the best chance for all of us to get on rosters in the league this moment in time. Let's just see if they give them a week, really trying to get that spot. If it doesn't work out, let's just all go our separate ways for now. That's how I would have played. It, I think they waited too long to do this. It's strange because like at first you felt like they were going to stick together, right? Because they said, right. oh, you know, we're going we're gonna to stay as a team. We're going to stay as a team. And then like, you know, Facento you was away was for a couple of weekends. They stopped playing with different players. And you're kind of like, hmm. You knew it was going to happen eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it was inevitable, which is actually a really big shame because obviously they play second at the uh, Call of Duty World Championship. They look very, very good. But let me ask you this, Matt. Mm. What made Team Revenge so good was their teamwork. Their ability to, you know, pins hills, the ability to S&D strats, the uplink plays, those team strats. If you take those plays individually, are they as, like, high-tier asset as some of the rest of the plays in the league? I think, uh... I think they are. You do? I think they are. So I you think those, those you could, players you could outside Nagafen? of... Out, I think those players have a really good grasp on how to play Advanced Warfare. Mm -hmm. And they haven't been as close-minded as some other players have been. Yes. They, they've, uh, they've been, they've been, willing been using to, yeah, unique They've been classes. willing to use the in, unique stuff. They've been willing to think a little bit outside the box. I think they bring that mentality to other teams, kind of you know, put their little spin on it. I even saw Aqua during the 5K yesterday, you know, did a little listening with Prof. He was kind of just, you know, guiding them through. He's like, hey, I'm going to go play this spot. Just play over there. I guarantee you we win the round. And just kind of throwing his stamp on that. I think Vicento and Nagafen and Remy all have an equal opportunity to bring that to different teams. I think they'd be a great pickup for numerous teams. It took me an hour to find it, but I, I found their video. Oh, no. Their video has been blocked. <laughs> Never mind. Must have been so it's, good. It was a good attempt. Uh, yeah, it included all their highlights from COD Champs and... I got blocked? Yeah, someone noobed it somewhere. Yeah, it's like it. Anyway. Check recent uploads real quick. See if they reload it. Can I see that? Yeah, see they reload it. Are you, are you gonna do a mat? Don't know how to use a PC? I don't know how to use this. Where would I find the up? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah. From across the desk. Steam Pucket. Steam Pucket are old school, man. Right? We don't use we don't computers, use dude. We use computers. Computers for kids with iPhones. Scientists, dude. And Scientists. Stuff. Yeah. How long is this video? Like biologists. 38 minutes long. Yeah, you're, you're showing the wrong ones. That's great, though. Yeah, you know, this is the only video they have. But that's what I'm saying, that they re-upload it. No yeah, yeah. Anyway. Ben, what are you showing us? Anyway. I'm not showing you anything. They, they didn't, didn't re-upload. Uh, nope. Unfortunately, that TR, the movie, is gone. It was called We Want Revenge. Hopefully, it's somewhere out there on the internet. But they had so many highlight plays, and I, I was wondering, like, originally we said this is a team that is just based purely on teamwork, based purely on chemistry, until I watched the video down and I saw what the individuals were doing themselves. And I wonder, how good is this Prophecy Squad? You got Aches, you got Aqua, same team. The one thing that kind of, I think, it, it sucks for Pacento, Naga, Finn, and Remy is usually the first person who's proactive in this situation is usually the one who kind of like finds the best situation. Like formal when he burst out with the Halo guys. Right. He's like ace, peace, all the other Halo guys. He's the like, first I one you, that usually out. makes the move. Like it's great to all say, oh yeah, we're all gonna stick together and whatnot. The first person who kind of acts on that chance is the person who usually gets out on top. I hope you know Remy, Nagafin, and Vicento find teams in the it's league. It's kind of ironic because you, gonna you be say difficult. that. Look at, you look at EG, like after they disperse, going to AW, Aches, the one guy who kind of was like left behind, didn't really get where he wanted, won the first event. Right. That's yeah, like the only, that's like the. But look at like, yeah. I mean, that's the only, it's the only. The anomaly, that right. like that's the only time it's ever happened. It's weird. Right. Cause I'm, I'm trying to think of like other times it's happened, it just doesn't. Usually the person who's the most proactive about making the move first comes out on top of this type of thing. 
Hmm. And I, 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 if Argentina, I was a revenge sure. player, what, what's keeping me with this squad? Well, you just play second at the biggest tournament. Yeah, yeah, but I don't get another opportunity to make money in North America it's a, until. I mean, you got UMG, UGC. It, it's funny so because there's always like this. You win what twenty five hundred dollars per person? <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of like fan no fifty thousand. <laughs> no, no, not none of that. There's a lot of like fan pressure or like community pressure. It's like, oh, you got second chance. Why would you break up? Like they don't understand all these other yeah. factors that go into making decisions like this. Uh, that's probably something that they were kind of weighing on. Like, well, how can we like. Like, if you're Aqua and you got an off, like, right after champs, like, well, how can I leave? We just got second champs. Everyone's going to be like, yo, you left the, your team to go to, like, a, a fifth place team? Because you're not getting on Denial. It's the only place right. you're going higher. <laughs> Upgrade. You're not going to right. Optic. You're not going to Denial. Yeah. Well, but, honestly, I think you have your pick of where else you want to go. Absolutely. Um, okay, okay, now. You had your pick. Had your pick. Had your pick. Aqua, Aqua definitely the best on that team, in my opinion. Just who is, who do you think is? I think they're all the same. I really do. I, I would say, no, like, I, I, I would say, in, Aqua. in terms, of, in terms of what define define best on the team, in gun skill, yeah, probably Aqua. In terms of knowledge of the game, no way. In terms of leadership, Pacento by far. Right. Like, they, there's so many different aspects to like who's the best like, on Pacento the team. Pacento could be a great asset. Like, if like, I made another team looking for a fourth, but who what, is going to be but, the best right, but, option for me? But to what build? are you looking for in a fourth? Are you looking for a leader role? Normally, are you you're looking, looking for a, a guy who can slay. No, not, not You're looking for a guy who can no, help that, you keep up. There's more. There's more to the team. All right, what team that. trades have gone down since COD Champs, and who is involved? The Slayers. Since COD Champs? Yeah, since COD Champs. That first initial roll of of, of swaps. Mm. Who went? What did they gain? Optic Gaming didn't go after a new objective player, Ben. They went after Karma. That's a little bit different, but you go to the Slayers. I think uh, disagree. If Yuri, that, the, TR, TR proved that they can't they can't slay against the top teams. Look at right. Envy. Fact. What did what did Envy drop? Great. What did Envy add? Yeah, great. Look they at TR. TR just placed second. You add the Slayers. The Kill Slayers people, are the most. And TR just placed Kill second people. at the biggest tournament of the year. Where did where did where did your top slaying team Optic Gaming place at champs? Optic Gaming had a rough bracket. Where did they place? They had a rough bracket. Where did they place? Oh, they gave me anything to kill people. Where, where did, where yeah, did, where, hold on, hold on. Where did Denial with the best objective player? What are you player? arguing? I, no, no, I, I'm saying, what, what are did you arguing? Where did argue? Denial with the best objective just, player in the game finish? You're just pointing First. out random facts. No, you're, you're saying you don't go after the objective players. I'm saying Since the number on, one team at World Championship I'll has argue, replays. I'll argue. One of the best objective players in the game. Okay. The second placing team was TR, who are based off that's, teamwork. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's great to know. Just saying. Look at the rosters as they're currently now. Is Denial struggling right now? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Lots of different reasons. What, you're smiling because you know of, the main reason. What's, what's the main reason? Go ahead, ben. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. What's the main reason, Ben? What's the main reason? Hold on, you just educated the people. Now, now we're going to educate you. Why, why are they no, struggling no, right now? The, there may be a few. Why are they few, struggling right now? The few issues. Have, have some other teams got better in the Department of Killing People? There's, there could be a few issues. Have I, have I honestly team, say, have, hold on, hold on, pug it, pug it. On, online play. Hold on, yeah. online play. Ha, have, have other, it's online, man. It's, no, it's a struggle. No, no, no. What would you say? Connect, connectivity issues, man. When you have West Coast, East Coast, dude, it's a struggle. Have teams it's upgraded in the slang department. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, would you, oh would so you would you directly? All I'm saying is, hold So now it starts to struggle as other teams start to elevate their slang. Uh, was, pug it, pug it. What do you think the issue is with Would you say they're struggling? Would you say they're, like, really? I would say they're struggling. You look at some of the other teams in the league? No, they're cr they're they're cr right. They're like, playing, but they're okay, still up and down. In, in the two Ks and five Ks, yeah, they, they lost the E6 like before? five, four or five times. But where were they before month. Clutch Champs? Like realistically, in terms of like an online team, they're playing. You thought they, they were playing good. well. You thought they were they're like, playing really well. Right, but they've been up and down the last like two or three weeks. Dude, I don't know. I, I was all, just all looking through here, Ben. It's it's very weird to find when you look at Optic Gaming versus Denial the fact that uh, Denial players are always above the Optic players here on this list. Um, with the exception of Nate Shot with a .97 I mean, over replays with a .94. Teams. You're looking at two different teams now because there's been tra I changes. Just, I was just looking at if all you, these if you were different to look at, KDs. You look at Kama, Skump. You're saying that the Slayers. I, it, it, it's you the look at Kama, Skump right there. and like, they, they have so much killing potential. Yeah, great. The, I think... Uh, kind of the issue with denial since champ. Like where, where is it? Where is the highest TR player in that list? Aqua, highest TR 13. player is Aqua at 1.15, <laughs> which is 13th in that list. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, you have you, you have, have what? Swanee who playing played 14. Inferior talent. You have Watson who never got very far. 
Uh, you have Antissi who's playing Inferior you Tower? Madcat who didn't did, even make it did out of play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're looking at numbers when here. Did, 13th includes people who have only played 14 you maps. Ju you just said Antissi who was playing Inferior Talent. Yeah, yeah they didn't have as difficult teams. They placed fifth at Caught Chance. Right, they didn't have very difficult teams. You want to look at AR's bracket again? Do you need me they, to remind you of what happened with AR? They placed Do you need me to remind you of what happened in the bracket fifth. for AR? They, how many, how many again, games did he play? You, you remember he specific stats, but games. you don't think of the big picture back. He played 31 games. Your arguments are invalid. Of like, I understand why Matt wins the quick scope every single time, because your arguments are... You're, you're you can't say they played results. inferior talent. It's the if you look world at the bracket championship. itself. They played 31. Don't find the bracket. 31 maps, that's absurd. That upsets me sometimes. That's a lot of maps to play. And anyway, my point still stands. He's outside of the top 10 in slaying. No, no, no. again, you're looking at people who have played. You have Kiwi take, take and Madcat right. on there. Give me right? a minimum. They never got out of the pool Give me a minimum so of 25 maps. How many teams better okay. than them okay. in their group okay, cool. to get that Cool, cable. great, great. Give me a minimum of 25 maps. 25 maps? All right. You're taking now. In a minimum of 25 out of here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, 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 right. No, no, no. He's no, number 20. three. I love Ben's. No, he's number four behind attack. Okay, great. Now give me a minimum of 20. Give me a minimum of 20, Matt. Where is minimum he now? Minimum of 20. You got one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, do you count this? Yeah. Six. Yeah. Seven, eight. He's ninth. In a uh, minimum of 20. Again, maps. the talent that he had to play was so different. Like, Still anyone can put up ridiculous numbers against weak opposition. You look at my KD. Against weak opposition. <laughs> it would be totally different looking no, at No, I, I get what you're saying. I, I completely understand what you're saying. But my point still stands. Your TR point is not No, the, the original point, which was TR was never about slaying. That's never what that no, team has no, been about. No, no, we asked who was the best player on the team. Right. I and said I'm the saying, Slayer is, and the Slayer is the most valuable. That's the original point. I... And you didn't have an answer to that. I disagree, though. I don't think you... So, so no, who's you the most valuable, the, then? I would honestly look at a player like Remy. In terms of smarts. Like, he's a really smart player. You look at the way he plays. Like, he does a really important role for his team. It's like Krim, for example, right? You can look at Krim and you can be like, Oh, Krim doesn't drop the most kills. That doesn't really make any sense. He, he isn't always dropping kills. But then you look at what he's done for that team. Yeah. In terms of the knowledge bombs he's dropped, dude. See, I would, that's, I would that's, argue, that's more than any I, I statistic argue, you can get. I would argue Facento brings more to that team than Yeah, except Remy, that, there you go. I mean, th but that's my point. You can argue different plays. I, I would I just say, say, oh, If I'm looking Aqua at it from the outside, kills. Aqua and Facento are the two players that I would look to go after. I'm sorry, but AR hardly had the easiest bracket of all time. Where Optic Nation. I mean, that's uh, a team that, that Matt had finishing second at that, regional, that, that, so that, you, uh, can't, that's you can't fairly... Kind of argue that it's aware a was the easy team. run. Aware yeah, beat as envious, right? In the lower bracket, AR played O N. Then they played denial, and then denial, and then I think they went down. Don't get like, me wrong, and denial had prof. Right? Denial had a much tougher run. I know they played. Uh, they played face red. They got. They had three out. They got three out by face red. So hold on, go up, go up again. While so they while TR weakness. beat phase red. Yes, because TR was a better team than AR. That's, that's not the argument here. There's right. no there's no argument. Of course TR is a better team. I think Aqua than AR. brings oh, like... Aqua brings great slaying, like Chris said. I think also you look at Facento, he brings a whole game to He's the a table. Good leader. And he brings a great like leadership. Like a team like Unbelievable Ele like a team like Elevate. I like Anticity uh, an See, apology I, though. I, I thought Anticity and the AR crew had an easier bracket than they did. Um it's easier, but easier. it was by no means uh, like I think Simple. Vicento on a team like Elevate would add a lot, like leadership. -wise. I just, I just feel like others play is gonna listen to Vicento though. Probably, I actually, know. maybe, maybe that could work. But then, where do the rest of the guys go? Where does Nagafen go? Nagafen, honestly, he, he's has the one such guy a I'm unique for. personality. I'm worried for him. That I don't know if he's gonna be able to talk his way onto a team. See, this so he's got to play his way onto you a team. To, and he might have missed his window. Right, like getting onto a team mm -hmm. in the position they were in. You're kind of like. Like promoting yourself in a way, like you're putting yourself out there, especially so close and to it's like Two days. I can totally see Pacinto getting on a team. I think he's actually on Elevate's roster as a sub, so that's kind of like an easy move if they wanted <laughs> to do that. Uh, Nagafen's currently on Denial's roster as a sub. Where's Remy? Does Do he AR? Does he talk his way onto? Like I can't see Nagafen like hitting up somebody and talking yeah. his he's way like, onto yo. a team, right? He's like, hey, yo, put me I on. can play that same role as Clayster. Could you see like <laughs> I couldn't see Remy I couldn't see that's, Remy that's doing it really either. 
I think AR actually would have been a great spot for Remy if they what didn't about, pick up Space League. All right, here we, here we go. We're right? going to get, get conspiracy theory. Okay, AR are extremely unhappy with their roster right now. Fair? Yeah. Yeah? They've not had the results they expected. What if they trade for two of the TR players? Why would you not? Why would you not try and keep those players together? At least two of them if they wanted to play with each other. Because by the sounds of it, that isn't like a, I hate my teammates, screw these guys, they suck statement. That's a, it just didn't work out. Right, but there's, we just no, couldn't there's get on nothing the in here that says, okay, after season two, we're going to all get back together and see if we can make things work, right. and then we're going to play again. It seems like Aqua is trying to push himself into the group of players that always ends up on the Envy of the oh, gaming. Yeah, yeah, no, you know I agree. I mean? like the circle the, the of like, four, yeah, the yeah. circle of like teams. That's where Aqua wants to end up. And he's like kind of making his way towards there. Uh, it seems like the rest of them don't really know what they want to do. I just feel like it'd be smart to pick up two of them. As opposed to, I mean, it depends on your current team, but how many teams realistically totally see it. Who do you replace on AR? So let's make the best AR roster possible. Hmm. You say Remy was your best player on that team, so you make him a starter. Yeah, I would say Remy. I would trade for Nagafen. Keep Burns. And then... You can take your pick. I really don't think at that point it Is matters. Is it Anticity? Yeah. I would, I, yeah. Or, Is Anticity or do you, better than Do you Facento? try and bring in Facento instead? That would keep Anticity. I think you don't want to keep more than two, two of the team revenge players on the same team. Why not? Otherwise, then it's just like, well, why do you not just do this in the first place? You know? Because you lost Aqua. You're no, no, no. I mean, why did you not do this in the first place? The AR? Like, yeah. Like, why? How many chances have they had to try and make a team in the Pro League? And we've kind of sat there and we're like, yeah, this could happen now. They could trade. Well, they could because trade. they never wanted to screw one person over. Now right. they're only a team of three instead right, of team which of four. Is, hmm, just true. <laughs> Maybe they Because they get on one of those teams, right. they would have had to play with one of those players. So it's like, well... I, just, I, I think it'd be silly. Burns goes to Facendo. It's like, hey, bring well, over Nagafen. And I think, Remy, I think it's like, well, you don't want to score over It would be stupid. If you're a team right now struggling in the Pro League, it would be dumb not to pick up multiple of these plays. Just yeah. stupid. Because teamwork was what made this team so good. Right. If they can bring, like, spot. How many times you, when you've been watching Acura at the weekend, has he just gone somewhere and you're like, that was crazy. Like, yeah. that was really smart in S&D. So many times. Happened in the 2K. Like, nearly every single game I was watching, I was like, didn't know you could do that. Didn't know you could go there. Did not you could Interesting, you know interesting, you there. interesting line of sight. You the only there. thing that I would say is if I was to pick up three of them, I, were, I probably would have picked up Aqua, Facento, and Nagafen. But he's off the table. But now they're off the table. They're but I would, still table, say, but I would still say go for three and just keep someone who can kill things. Right. Like, I saw Ake's tweet about it. People who can kill things are replaceable. I honestly probably, it, it would have been a little bit of a difficult move. Just kind of like, I would have probably have traded for three of them. I probably would have. I, I probably would have moved my to... roster in a way that I would have had three of them. One of them would have been forced to be a starter, and then I would have just played it like that until the other two caved and said, okay, fine, we'll just play with this last player, <laughs> and then I would have made my team that way. All right, Ron, let's pull this up because <laughs> I think exactly this what I would has have done. a uh, huge okay. impact on what is going to go down. Roster movement. There it is. Roster man here is The back. substitutes must, must be in by uh, 5 p.m. on April 29th. This is two days time. Yep. You got till Wednesday to figure this out. These guys are hopping on a plane this week to Dude, go over they, to Europe. They have left it so unbelievably late. Well, some of them you are must be, They must have known two weeks ago that it wasn't working some out. Some of them are going to be in Europe for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Like TR, OG, uh, a few other teams. Oh, of course, yeah, because they stay, right? And Denial. You don't, you don't make a move are like, they going to like bringing on these TR players to right? bench yeah. them for two weeks. Yeah, a lot of those sense. teams that are like the I believe the three that are at ESWC, they're going straight to Gfinity. Yeah, and then you have some other teams with the Pro League going to Gfinity as well. Uh, Interesting. It's going to be odd. I feel like, I feel like these they've, they've shot themselves in the foot. Like you need it to you need to strike when it's hot. You're right. You need to. Feel, <laughs> it's the same TK thing it's that we talked about. It's the like, same thing with TK. <laughs> it's the same reason we got Karma when we wanted to. You can't be afraid to. But they went in a position, position of power. They were. Be, they, they, nah, got, they, they got second in champs. But they, were, did, but they were looking for a spot in Pro League. Right, but if they would have came out after four days and said, okay, we're all free agents, they would all have ended uh, up on top teams. Right. They would have all have ended up on top teams. There would have right. been none of this kind of where oh, this player are going to get left out. I, I don't know how to feel yes. for the TR organization. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know if contracts were there, but basically TR came up 
with this team. I mean, they had a team yeah. last year at COD Champs, but as soon as Champs Canadian was over, team, right? we stopped yes. saying Revenge. Canadian yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, revenge who? <laughs> and, and now they have their face back out there. Does TR just disappear for the rest of AW after this happens? No. I think I they mean, who are they going to pick team. up? Who? They'll find another I think organizations picking play. up players now is just so hard. So hard. Because we already know they couldn't buy themselves into the league. Who's going to want to play for a team that isn't in the league? Right. Realistically, you're looking at that kind of level of like semi pro to like pro, that, that tier of teams, you're right? Sponsoring that new squad who is hoping to come in and beat people. And, and, that and that's like yeah. so, that's so risky for a team who's just placed second at the biggest amount of the year. Like I just feel I feel bad for for Team Revenge as a, as a whole. Like, so the right. management side, like that, that's so you had like the best team you're ever gonna have, like realistically. That that team was great. I mean, at that point, you're almost kind of you just gotta suck it up and just get into the league at any cost. Hmm. They just left it too late. Like two days before roster lock, and then all of a sudden you're you're like, yeah. By the way, <laughs> that uh, peace. That round, what's interesting? <laughs> that what's interesting is round eleven against Optic Nation. Like yeah. A lot of yeah, dude. They, they must look at that. Who does Faze sell Aqua to? Is it Prophecy? I don't. Mm, this this is interesting. Do you just keep him on your bench just to spite everyone else? He's worth a lot of money, I think. Knowing knowing that teams want him, like. Especially knowing Aix wants him too. <laughs> I'd be collecting a nice check for Aqua. <laughs> All right, like, you know, Aix wants to wants to play with him. I'd be like, hey, yeah, well, you're gonna have to dish some some dollars out. <laughs> if you're Phase and you have Enable going for away for two weeks, <laughs> and you are playing for a spot just like Prophecy is, would you not want to hurt your competition and better your own chances? When a manager add player request and players corresponding joint team requests are approved the player is added to the team so that has happened with aqua going to phase when a player is added to the team during this period they will be designated as a substitute managers may submit trade requests trade requests may include monetary compensation all teams involved in a trade must maintain the same number of players that they had prior to the trade so it's definitely like got to be a one-to-one -one. if you're phase what incentive do or you have to give or to two. give aqua to prop five you five you don't. FaZe is arguably losing. You know, you know, you know what it comes down to? Well, it comes down to the pro league no, standings right now. Right. Well, here, well, here's like the situation. You're arguably, you're missing your best player for the next two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. With a navel. I mean, we can argue he's potentially FaZe's best player. Oh, no, he is. Uh, you're missing him for the next two weeks. Aqua's on the road Aqua to Aqua is going to, he's on, he, be on the road. Yeah, he's playing on TI. Yeah, because they're going to have to Europe as well. So you're going to have to use Llama God. That's their second sub. But so, why, why I see trade Aqua only as a UMG fill in for Prophecy? No, they're no. gonna play a a a a a is, Yeah, and then paddle figure away out. But, but he, he always does. He always I was does. gonna say, he's gonna be without <laughs> his, his player he just traded for for two weeks, even if he does it on Wednesday. They're gonna have to use. All right, well, I wanna just quickly have a look at the standings because this is where it gets really interesting because right. that's where. Do you have a pen? Like you, you, yeah, here, yeah, here you go. Um, so this is the standings as it is right now. So we're talking about teams like Prof, who's currently in 11th place, FaZe, who's currently in 5th place. There is no way FaZe is going to trade to Prof. No way. I wouldn't. I think you would be no stupid. Way. You would be stupid to, unless they gave you an obscene money. amount of money for a player. I think you keep hold of Aqua. If, how if that's what how much does Aqua cost in your book? How many wins do you think he gets that team? I think how many wins ultimately, better? Ultimately, how many wins better? That's is not the prof. question. I, that's not the question. Does Aqua pull Prof out of the bottom four? Is the question. Yes. Do Prof ultimately go to X Games with Aqua? You think yes? yes? So all right. So who drops down? TCM and Justice. Justice. And Prof rise up. I mean, what? They're ten and eighteen right now. Two. I mean, look. <laughs> you got eleven and seventeen to TCM in, in seventh place. Right. Like that. The gap is minuscule. Yeah, right there. The gap is absolutely minuscule. And the, the question is, you know, is Aqua that kind of play who's going to deal with that pressure? Yes, definitely he is. He's worth a lot of money for Prophecy right now. Yep. Like, a lot of money. So because I, I agree with you, Matt. I think, I think he at would this, pull them out of the bottom four. I'm looking at this. OG going to ESWC, right? So they're going to be down. NG their fin? team. NGfinity. That's going to affect FaZe as well. Right. You FaZe have enable lose enable. There. They have to right. play with Llama Gods. And they're TR, in fifth place. That affects, that affects FaZe slash Prof. That affects Denial, 
who they're going as well. That affects them because Nagafen's a sub. Yeah. That affects AR because Remy is a sub for them. And that affects Elevate because Vicento's a sub for them as well. So TR going affects four teams as well. Denial going, obviously. Affects Denial. Affects denial. <laughs> uh, SB going to Gfinity. That affects uh, some of the teams with subs. With, so TK, for example. TK, for example. I believe I saw Envy going to Gfinity yep. with Merc. So that affects Envy and Justice. Because mm. Merc is over on Justice. Who did Justice have on the bench? Uh, I'm trying to think. I got nothing for you. What? What's I, the... You, you want, want me to look the, it up? I got, I got access to this. If you could, that would be great. I'm just trying to think. The All these players leaving. When when are they flying out? Wednesday? Thursday? Don't ask me. Don't know. I would assume Wednesday. For uh, international Wednesday travel, you would yeah, want. Yeah, for a Friday event, you want to leave on a Wednesday. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Justice. Yeah, what's Justice's bench? Where you at, Justice? There we go. So All right, we got Study. We got Merc, TCM, Octane, Cold Chan. And sender. Oh, they're fine. So they would have a replacement they're, for they're good. So uh, they have a replacement. Supposedly, Pacento looking for a team for Gfinity. So maybe he goes with Envy. Ooh. And no, Merc they, stays. No, they, they, they I think they've said no, that they, they're already said they Merc. Yeah. yeah, they already said they were going with Um. <laughs> so. What are the games from Wednesday to Friday in the Pro League? All right. So I just had these up here. And guys, you can find them on MLG.tv slash Pro League. It's useful. So many buttons. Oh so many God. tabs. So many tabs. I don't know which one I had open. Uh, anyway, we're Ooh, just gonna cool. come back here. Puckett's looking up like 2011. It, it's what I do. Stats actually. from I, Halo 3. He's minutes. like, don't worry, guys. Probably. All right. <coughs> Let me mute this kid. All right, we are good. All right. All right. Hit that for 11 real quick. All right. So, what are the right, games for this next screen. Wednesday? It's right there. Justice Prof. Elevate, rise. Come on over, Ron. Well, you got to look at the ones for Thursday as well. Yeah. No, these aren't the matches. These are Tuesday, Wednesday. These are the 30th. I'm, I'm saying next Wednesday. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. It's that. One more. 28. Yep. Uh, just hit it one more time. Yeah, there's yep, the there whole we go. week. All right, so you get a... Uh, I broke our site when I F11'd it. No, that's... You like that? Why does it have... No, you didn't. You good on that? We were good. Uh oh, no. Hey, -oh. hey -oh. we're good, Ron. We're good. There we go. Ron's got it. Ron, Ron, Ron yeah, just go to, get a Ron screen. Ron, yeah, Ron. get a Ron screen. Ron has it. All oh, right. No, no, what's going on? All, All right. There we go. Okay. All the screens have it. So uh, Wednesday and Thursday go down a little bit. Uh, no, that's, that's, where, that's where we're at. Oh, uh, ON going to Gfinity as well. Completely forgot about that. So they're Owen, affected Owen, as honestly, well. Honestly, Owen screwed. Well, Don't even. He's going to Gfinity. Well, when, oh, it, I, when is Gfinity? What, what's the date for Gfinity? Uh, it's the uh, eighth, right? 9th, 10th, 11th, or 9th and 10th. Yeah. Friday the eighth. It's a Saturday Sunday event. So 9th and 10th. Right. So the 9th and 10th. And ESWC is the weekend before that. Right. So you have OG missing that whole week. Uh, Denial missing the whole week. Well, no. This, TR this, this just is my going point. ESWC. This is my point. Team is supposed to be flying out this Wednesday. Wednesday the same. Oh, ESWC. Right. ESWC. That's what I'm trying oh, to say. Okay. That's like, only OG and Denial. That's the only two teams that are affected in that way. Just OG and Denial. Yeah. Well, and FaZe because and Enable. because Enable is going as well. And right. then you have next week, though, OG, Denial, FaZe, SB, Envy, potentially Justice, and ON all affected. So, all right, you so ready from to the take six. some notes here? Yeah. So starting with OG leaving on Wednesday, let's say that happens. Okay. Yeah. They would give a forfeit win to Team Caliber. And they would give a forfeit win to Optic Nation. Okay. Ron, come to my screen. It's a little easier to follow. All right. So here's Optic Gaming on that Wednesday. So they, they give a win to Owen and TK. Then we look at Denial. Denial is giving a win to Justice. They're giving a win to TCM. FaZe and Optic Nation. <laughs> hey, Owen's doing better not playing than they were playing. <laughs> Good hey job, yo. boys. Yeah, if both teams are not there, what happens? <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we're looking for their, their next day of games. It looks like their next day of games for Optic Gaming are going to be on this Thursday, uh, this Tuesday, May 5th. Which they be on. So that's Elevate and Prof. Yo, I may have been right about their losses. 
I don't know how they do the Optic Gaming Denial Forfeit. Who's going to get that one? <laughs> Flip a coin. And then AR gets a win. So basically everyone's getting a win at some so point. So the home Denial team gets the, one to rise. The home team gets the win if both teams go chop. Okay, so that'll be Optic Gaming in that situation. So OG get a win. I'm not playing. And then rise. Okay. I, have a, I have a feeling that this might look a little bit different when the pro league happens. What's crazy so here is it looks like Optic Nation is the only team, though, that gets two wins out of this whole scenario. <laughs> hey, they right? need every win well, they can get. Yeah, well, go to Thursday as well, because the Thursday's matches would be affected as well. This is where it gets crazy, Denial though, has because this is when Thursday. every single team gets affected. Denial, Denial plays versus phase. phase. So, so phase, phase would pick up a free win. No, phase gets two wins from Denial during this period of time. And then uh, Nation, gets the Nation the also gets two wins from Denial. No, because ON time. will be leaving for Gfinity. Oh, well, ON would be gone as well. So, so, so Elevate will ON. get the win over ON. And, and Denial <laughs> gets the win here. Okay, and then so TK, wait, TK versus Justice. TK would get that win. Oh my god, we're doing so much math on the Denial fly. versus ON. Home team gets that win. That would be Denial picking up a win. Is Phase. TK going to Gfinity? No. No. Yeah, I'm confused. Why TK Justice? Because Why just, you that up? Justice, you said they're going to go to Gfin? No, well. just Merc. No. Oh, just, just my All right, and they forget got, that. Never mind. My, my mistake. There. My mistake. Yeah. Uh, Denial versus Owen. Denial win because they're home. Phase versus Elevate. Elevate get a free win there. No. Phase. Yeah. Uh. Dear. Would Phase. they? No, they wouldn't. I'm trying to think how many subs do they have. Yeah. They, they oh, get. Prof going to Gfinity as well. <laughs> oh, we just. All right. I'm not even gonna try and keep track. Oh We're doing my live God. On the show. Oh, I know. These teams traveling are going to affect quite a few things. The question is, do you have room for any TR members on your squad while everyone else is on the road? If I'm telling you, I'm a bottom four team right now. Yo, I, I am like, all right, every, every single team is going. You can three pick up like 12, 12 wins. wins. Games. You, all we got to do is play. You can pick up 12 you pick wins. Up, um, you, you could pick up a maximum of like five wins, I think, with the schedule. Yeah. For, set for the bottom four teams. And what's that I, schedule? Five like wins? Right five oh, wins would probably right to like <laughs> fifth. It would put you in like fifth in the pro league. Wrong. Look at this one more time. So <laughs> and you'd probably hold a tiebreaker over like, right, yeah, <laughs> over, like everyone because well, you here's, beat them all. Here's the hard part. Optic Nation and Prophecy are two teams you said are going to Gfinity. Yeah, I believe they're. Yeah, announced. that's what I'm saying. That's screwed. Rise, whoo! Rise, making it, baby. We're gonna see them at X Games. AR without Aqua, no need. Without Remy, no need. They keep their starting lineup. TCM, they would keep their TCM's gonna run rampant in the pro league in that week. They two, but they don't have any games in that week though. Oh, they don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we didn't we didn't read the name once. TCM plays tomorrow. But they, they play against play AR. Who's that? They play an AR. Who's that? Thursday. Who do they play? They don't play anyone on Thursday. And then you go. Over well, you got to look Monday. They play Tuesday. With... They play AR. Mm -hmm. hey, wait, is TCM gonna do for No. No. All right, so they play AR again, who's already here. Who's that second second game? So Monday, they play Prophecy and Optic Nation. So those are two, no, not two wins necessarily, no. because the team hasn't traveled yet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They don't gain anything. TCM that. don't gain a thing. They have to play Rise. <laughs> they play the only two teams that are just yeah, They literally <laughs> play the two teams that are, that are still in the USA. <laughs> oh, TCM, I'm so sorry. What about Monday? This then they don't play Monday <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> TC, enjoy your three days off. <laughs> yeah, that sucks for them. Anyway, but anyway, back back to get back to the other the other screen of the, Yo, the teams that you had. Oh, you yeah, right. Just scroll up. up. Oh, just scroll up. Right. Yeah. All right. Because you look at a team like Justice, for example. He's on the border. They're a team who I would be like, okay, right. Let's pick up Yo, some Octane's players. about to have like a 4 KD during that week of the Pro League. He's just going to be killing guys like they're bots. <laughs> but that, this is the thing, right? Octane started off so well. We were so like amped about Super the Justice Octane. squad. He was yeah. good yesterday. We were like, oh, this team looks really good. Now they're in the bottom four. I expected that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I would if I'm if I'm just as I'm trading for someone from TR. You need it's all a, four. It's logical. <laughs> either that or one of the top teams trade for them immediately, just so no one else can get them. Yo, I tell you what. Uh, Lock them up. Octane, Nagafen, Remy, and Nagafen would be a pretty sweet team. Wait, what? Pacento, Pacento, Nagafen, Remy, and Octane would be a pretty sweet team. That'd be a nasty team. Yeah. Well, that'd be a great team. What does Octane play? Is he aggressive? Uh, we've he seen him use an AR time. up until, well, yesterday during the 5K, he ran a sub really? with ISO the entire time, and he was still crushing. Hmm. He started off one game like 30-something. Uh, he was like 33-9 and nine or something stupid. 
All right, what, is, what does Justice have to do to bring in those players that you suggested? Trade everybody else. Is it easy to get rid of Who study Merc and TCM? Uh, Envy has methods. Uh, I mean, you can probably trade. Uh, I mean, you know Merc's going to be going for G Fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you, could, so you, you have to immediately play with one of your subs. Who have you got in the sub bench? Your subs are Coltan and Sender. I just trade him. And I pick up I yeah. pick up Nagafen and Facento. I do the same thing. And then I probably play Octane, TCM, Facento, and Nagafen. Much better team. And you and you know during that period that they're going to break out of the They're going to go undefeated during that week. Yeah. They'll go undefeated during that period of time. And then that guarantees you a spot at X. But TR is in Europe during all this. Only one, uh, only one weekend. Only one Are they weekend. only going to only the SWC? SWC? No Gfinity? The, the, Remy's post makes it sound like they're going to Gfinity yeah. as well. Yeah. Thanks for reading. The and we are going to go weekend. all out the in Europe for you guys and Galaxy's yeah. next two weekends with the old Revenge team. So maybe, right. they're maybe, they're, to maybe they're going to Gfinity as well. as well. So maybe then that cancels out. <laughs> that. All of our thoughts and math and... No, it doesn't cancel out the math. Taking. It doesn't cancel out the math at all. The math's still really valid. Yeah. It's just one of those teams at the bottom four needs to do something while they have a chance. Because Owen is doing nothing but digging themselves in a hole. Prof's digging themselves in a hole as well. It's like, teams your together. whole competition is gonna lose games. How long does Optic Nation stay around? I mean, I said this before. If they finish Stone Dead last of the Pro League again, you need to just get rid of the team. They'll it's stay. doing nothing for your brand. It's doing it. absolutely They'll nothing stay. for your brand. Sell the spot. It's, it's, it's nothing keeping for some threatening players away They'll from stay. you. But that's about huh? it. They'll keep that team. I mean, let's not forget, they only just got into the Pro League Season 2. They'll keep the team. They got into round, like, a round 11 against TR. Matt says the team will be capped. Yeah, They'll are you talking about the team, the team or are you talking about the, players. Kind of the, the Optic Nation or are you talking about the players? What are you talking about? Uh, they'll keep those te that team and I think they'll keep the players as well. I mean, I, th I assume they'll have to keep the team, but... You looking for some TR officially on here? I'm trying to see. Spring Masters. The, the players. Look at groups. Denial, Optic Gaming, and Optic Nation. Look at groups. With more to be announced. Dun, groups dun, hasn't dun, been uh, bracket done yet. Schedule? Anything? No, it's nothing yet. Ah, oh, man. Oh. It's secretive still. I have a feeling, though, that this bottom line has confirmed that TR is going to Gfinity. Yeah. There's no reason to stay in Europe for a second weekend. <laughs> right. Maybe they just want to enjoy some of that second place. No, play. they're definitely going. Oh, they're going all out, Ben. It says it here in the Twitter. Euro longer. trip. <laughs> they're going to go all out for you guys. Yeah, all, right. all, all out. All I know is <laughs> having fun. All I know is I'm bummed. TR is splitting. I yep. wish they were staying together, and I wish they mm. had a chance to compete for X Games medals because I what feel like this to is a team that could definitely have done it. They just could not get their way into Pro League, and got a question: Where did things go wrong for the management? I mean, yeah. ultimately, it's Game not. It's not on the Optic Nation went wrong. That's right. what it comes down to. The players can be. And who did they lose to before that? Elevate. I think it was Elevate and Nation. No, I think they lost. No, it was. It was, was it was like Justice. justice. Yeah, because it was someone they that did. we didn't expect. Because we they were like, oh, this like three, one or three out of Justice, and I was like, what happened? Right. Because we we both said that Tia team was going to win that relegation thing like comp easily. Yeah, easily. I, I remember I was. I think I said I was like I was like justice sucks. And then, <laughs> and then methods was like I'm gonna prove you wrong. Methods was like I proved you wrong. It's like, eh. well, you did, but yeah, I guess so. And you got traded to envy. Sorry, methods. <laughs> Much love. Sorry, my butt. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. We can come back Irish more Jewish. live here on the esports report.